the Outback Communities Authority and Centre of Excellence in Plants for Space are hosting a series of Outback in Science in the Outback Pub rather events. And the first one is taking place here in Andamooka. So those scientists have been looking at methods of growing plants in a controlled environment for the purpose of growing plants in space, but they kind of realised there might be some similarities between a space shuttle and the outback. They both have pretty harsh growing conditions and they do both present some difficulties in terms of fresh food delivery. So what's happening tonight is those scientists will be presenting their research and their findings to the locals of Andamooka and they're really hoping to also just open a dialogue and hear about the locals' experience with food security. Hey, it actually looks like Mars behind you. I mean, save for the clouds. So do we know the answer, which mm-hmm. it is easier to grow in? Yes, well, I am coming to you live from Mars today, actually. Yeah. No, I'm not, unfortunately. <laughs> it looks um, like it. No, for now, <laughs> it does, it does. For now, it is still easier to grow plants here on Earth than it is in Mars, although we are already growing some plants up in space on the International Space Station, and that is using those controlled environment methods. But another part or another reason behind tonight was thinking about maybe one day uh, in the future, a little way, I'd say, but... They might see if they can replicate their methods of growing plants in space here in the outback. So whether that be getting some units out here in the outback with some solar panels on top, really just removing the harsh growing conditions from the equation and seeing whether they can grow some plants here just like they are up in space.